Good morning friends. Today I am going to share a new setting which is actually not new, uh, which is available in Odoo standard. Uh, but I wanted to explore a new way to operate the warehouse with virtual warehouse. So uh, many people might know uh, what is virtual warehouse, but I would like to show how uh, one can use that in uh, their warehousing operations. So let's say you have two separate warehouses uh, within your single company and you wanted to check uh, the stock available in both uh, the warehouse at single time as well as whenever uh, you are making any sale, you wanted to use uh, both of the location uh, to make a delivery. So normally we do have uh, locations, you know, warehouse wise. So if you can see in this screen, I have three warehouses. Uh, those are the normal warehouse uh, WH1, WH2 and then I have uh, given a name virtual warehouse as a third warehouse and under the uh, locations I have uh, defined the physical location that is a stock uh, warehouse 1, NHT1 then stock warehouse 2, NHT2 under two separate warehouses and when I remove that I will be able to see the uh, virtual warehouse which is uh, the type is uh, view and uh, parent location is virtual location okay that's why it is not visible in normal uh, internal location type because it's a uh, view type now uh, normally uh, when you deal uh, it will hit directly to uh, respective warehouses but now if i wanted to change like this warehouse uh, under the virtual warehouse so I will select uh, this as a parent and for uh, the second one also I will select this as a parent. For you as a uh, warehouse it is nothing but a part of warehouse 1 and warehouse 2 but the header I have changed to virtual warehouse. Now what happens uh, like if I go and uh, see the available product at this warehouse you can see these many products are available like rm1 rm2 which i am going to use under this example ultimately this uh, is lying under your warehouse one only but i have just changed the parent location likewise for warehouse two i have this rm1 rm2 so rm1 we have enough stock right so whenever i am registering any sales for any customer what I will do is I will select virtual warehouse as my location and under the line if I am select RM1 I can see able to see total stock like 1700 units if I go to uh, this view forecast it will be able to show me 2001 quantity which is available under both the warehouse because it is uh, uh, you know marked as parent to both the location i can see combined inventory over here that's the advantage now if you switch to warehouse another warehouse uh, which has only one but ultimately it has thousand quantity but here as the parent has been changed you will not be able to find the quantity over here but you have to go to virtual warehouse and book your order so still i have 1700 units free now what happens uh, you know if i go to uh, my quotation and if I wanted to book 1100 units okay, and as soon as I, I confirm this order it will initiate a delivery okay. under operations now when I see check availability here the parent location should be virtual warehouse as soon as I check availability it will reserve 1100 unit and now you can see the effect of that virtual warehouse setting as I have 700 units free in warehouse 1 location it has booked that and 400 unit under warehouse 2 it has booked so your entire order of 1100 units will be split at to deliver by both the warehouse and both the location this is what uh, you can achieve with this virtual warehouse setting now you can see ultimately in, as an advice you will see only virtual warehouse uh, under that you know uh, particular uh, uh, slip but for you these are two separate warehouses which you need to consider 
okay so once i validate it will reduce the quantity from both the warehouses and now if i see rm1 <laughs> stock now 902 units are left so you can see the on hand is this and forecasted is 601 earlier i used to have you know 1700 units out of that 1100 i have already sold it out now in virtual warehouse i will see 901 as a total available quantity now uh, the second thing which i wanted to show uh, the another impact of it if you want to combine your order based on your warehouse then uh, what i can do is or what we can do is we can uh, set this virtual warehouse as a warehouse and these locations in the reordering rule and then define our buying strategy so i have given you know 500 minimum and uh, 1000 maximum quantity still this warehouse uh, is having some of the quantities available but uh, let me just uh, uh, you know maybe increase this mark to 700 so now it will show me like 700 and 400 units are to be replenished for both the location according to reordering rule and my reordering rule has been set under virtual warehouse location so as soon as it will run that particular scheduler now we can see a purchase order will be triggered so this is a older one this is again a older one This is also older one so it has some of the order which was triggered but now let me check so i am just confirming the order and then receiving the product in this particular location So 100 units has been inverted. For this also, I am going to receive this. So now if I go to my particular inventory and check my stock, or let me check the replenishment screen itself. So for virtual location, I have still need to order uh, this much quantity. So now uh, what we are going to do is we will check the operation types. So here is my virtual warehouse receipt where default stock location will be virtual warehouse okay and then for delivery order also we'll set virtual warehouse as default delivery and under my location settings this will be replenishment location and this will be again a replenishment location these are also replenishment those are separate uh, physical warehouses i have given now this is my two warehouses where i need and i will place order to max okay so what we have to do is we have to define uh, the buying rules under the route so this will belong to virtual warehouse and this will also belong to virtual warehouse okay now let's see and run the scheduler
so here uh, you can see 700 units has been ordered for rm1 and again rm1 400 units uh, has been placed so now uh, you can see from that virtual warehouse uh, you have uh, triggered two different uh, you know orders whereby you can confirm this order and uh, receipt the goods so it is again from uh, the same vendor so there are certain settings we have to do for the product rm1 the warehouse So that's how I need to also change it to receipt operations. So if I go to inventory, routes, so where is my receipt? Yeah, this one is belong to that. Yeah, this one. and this is how i need to set so it's already set now just i need to check on the location part so everything is perfect in the present type when i go to receipt so everything uh, seems right so we just have to take care of those purchase orders. Now I can confirm and then I can receive the products. So if I go to inventory again and check my reordering rules, I have set two rules now everything has been uh, uh, you know replenished so I don't need any other quantity to refill so this is how uh, you can club your sales order as well as uh, once uh, this particular thing has been set up correctly it will automatically club your uh, purchase order also let's see I am uh, you know going into RM1 and then uh, resetting its on hand quantities so it is now you can see I will set it to all to zero now if I run the scheduler go to purchase order so it has uh, demanded this particular thing but let me check I'm just cancelling this order and going into my routes I am changing this part right now in routes and in my rules this is why So I need to change the uh, rules accordingly. Now if I run my scheduler and going into my purchase, you can see single order has been created now for uh, both the quantity. So, you need to supply both uh, to different warehouses according to their need 
and once you confirm it will create a single receipt to supply and feed to both the warehouse warehouse one warehouse two under virtual warehouse so that's how uh, uh, if you have multiple warehouses and you want to club a single po using reordering rule you can configure the virtual warehouse so this virtual warehouse concept has been marketed by Vodu as a you know selling point but now you can configure as a single purchase point also using this particular settings so hope uh, warehouse managers uh, can uh, maybe use this virtual warehouse concept to club their sales and delivery and club their you know uh, automatic reordering rule to make a centralized purchase for different warehouse and then supply to different locations under that warehouse hope this will help many people and many consultant thank you